Hey everybody! I am going to be sharing with you today informative information as well as sharing with you a piece of my life. So, first off, this, this right here, this is one of the most useful tools that you can have in your home and I'm going to tell you why. It looks pretty mundane, pretty, uh, a lot like a lightsaber, a miniature one, but no, it, this that's not what this is. This is a bug vac, a bug vac, and um, it's actually a little handheld vacuum, and um, if you're like me, I, I hate having to kill bugs can't do it. I just can't do it. It makes me feel bad the rest of the day. I can't, you know, go about my business because I killed a bug. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. But I do fret about it more than I should. Now, this gives me peace of mind because, one, I don't have to kill the bug myself. And two, it doesn't leave a mess. And three, It saves worry. So, all you do is you, it has a cap on it here, you unscrew the cap and you go up to your bug, wherever it might be, on the wall, on the floor, in your bed, whatever, and you push it this button here, see? You push it and it sucks things up in it. Now, it's not a really strong vacuum. It's not going to suck up your important things that you might have laying around. It won't suck up a piece of jewelry or anything. It's not going to suck your carpet up. It's not made for that. Don't try to vacuum your house with this little thing right here. All you got to do and put it up next to the bugs. Sometimes you kind of have to scoop the bug up in it, turn it on, and it sucks it in. And you don't have to touch it. None of that business. Okay, so you don't have to waste tissues. You know, you know how you have to use a tissue and, and use more, make more trash. Yeah, so you don't have to fool with that. You put the cat back on so that the bug doesn't escape back into your home environment and uh, you transport it outside and you unscrew the cap again and you let the bug go free and you don't have to worry about killing it. It's completely benevolent. It's such a benevolent item. It looks like a piece of junk, like it's just going to accumulate with your other junk, but no, you keep it in a handy spot, and it's very handy. So that's that. I'm really excited about it, you can tell. You know, it's just a simple thing, I know, but I'm all about things that make my life easier, right? Who's not? So, um, anyways, yeah, and I wanted to also show you my Amanda Palmer shirt on right now. Here it is. Oh! And you can see I got her to autograph my boo. <laughs> yeah, I know it's kind of cheesy, but why not? Why not? So anyways, yeah, that show was, was awesome. I went with my sister Holly and we went to Asheville, that's where we saw her at, at the Orange Peel, and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And, um, I think that's all I have to talk about today. I hope you learned something informative about the bug vac, and everyone should consider getting one. Oh, and another added benefit about the bug vac. You don't have to kill spiders. You don't have to kill spiders. I hate spiders. I hate the way they look. They're 
they give me the heebie-jeebies, they're gross looking, they got hairy legs, and their bodies are soft, and their little eyes are, are they just freak me out. So anyways, but as much as I hate spiders, I don't like to kill them because they kill bugs when you put them outside, and you don't have to kill the bugs because the spiders kill the bugs. So, in order to avoid having to kill good spiders, you use the bug vac and you just suck them up in there and scoot them outside and you don't have to worry about it. See, zero worries. I love it when my worries are decreased. It's such a nice feeling. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Say hi to my little friend up here, Borg Boar, and um, see you later. Ta-ta.